This is Jack, and I'm speaking about the abuse of forgiveness. Now, many beings who have been part of the destiny expression um, process are aware of the practical application of forgiveness. If you are not yet, I suggest you visit the destiny group um, because there are many, many articles from us interdimensional beings on forgiveness that we have actually typed ourselves through this interdimensional portal um, that you are able to understand the practical application of forgiveness and then you're able to watch this video again and understand it and gain some perspective so how do you how forgiveness is abused is the following way it is actually a form of self-abuse as well actually um, the abuse of forgiveness is the following scenario you apply forgiveness you say I forgive myself that I've allowed myself to judge myself when my boss yelled at me because I did not do my work appropriately enough according to his perspective you apply forgiveness because you judge yourself now you leave it you just let it go you've done forgiveness and now you walk and you do the necessary correction but then your mind carries on, oh, my boss is a bastard, and how dare he say that, and my work is appropriate enough, it's effective enough. And you don't apply forgiveness on those points either. And then you return to your boss, and you present to him the work again, and now he's satisfied. And now you kind of go in your mind, yeah, you bastard, I do appropriate and effective work, thank you very much. And then you go. That is one form of self-abuse self -abuse in abusing forgiveness, where you will only forgive yourself when you realize something about yourself in a moment, but you don't forgive your reactions to another being in your world. So, human beings, forgive yourself and those around you as you with which you experience reactive behaviors. Second form of... Um, Abuse of forgiveness is the following. Same scenario. Your jobs, you, your boss is, your work is inappropriate, it's not effective enough, etc., etc. You judge yourself, you do forgiveness. Um, you go back, okay, the same words go in your mind like, oh my god, he's an asshole, and I can't believe he said that, and you become angry. You apply forgiveness when your thoughts start running as well. Just stop the thoughts and you apply forgiveness. Cool, that moment is now forgiven. You've forgiven the first point that you judged yourself when your boss basically came at you because of your work being apparently inappropriate according to his perspective. And you've forgiven yourself for the rambling of your thoughts because of anger within yourself and frustration of your boss's comments and directed it to him. But now, the next time, you go again and you present to him another document. He goes again at you. He says, inappropriate, not effective, not satisfied. You judge yourself again. Your mind goes again. You forgive again. If that continues the whole time where you judge yourself and your mind goes, that is abuse of forgiveness. Why? Because you haven't placed your forgiveness into practical application. What does it mean if you don't do self-forgiveness with self-practical application together, you're abusing forgiveness? In other words, why would your boss the whole time say to you, the work is inappropriate, it's not effective, I'm not satisfied. Um, we will continuously judge yourself and your mind will ramble directed at your boss because of anger and frustration. Your boss will continuously do something like that because he's assisting you in showing you that you're actually not correcting yourself in the expression of yourself through applying forgiveness. And he will continue. Doing that until you realize that you have to stop judging yourself and you have to stop those thoughts being directed at your boss, rambling those thoughts the whole time, directed at him because of anger and frustration within you. So how would be the practical correction of the following example? Your boss says, inappropriate, unsatisfied, this is not effective. You go, I forgive myself that I've allowed myself to judge myself. He is merely expressing his, he's merely expressing what he wants of me. He's not directing it at me personally. So firstly you have to go, 
I forgive myself that I've allowed myself to take his comments personally. Remember, he's merely expressing himself. If you take it personally, you're separating yourself from your boss and you're taking it as a personal attack, which, is, which it is not. He's merely expressing himself and maybe even supporting you to become more specific, to become more effective. Maybe you are, maybe just look at where you're able to expand yourself then. Then you realize, okay, then you go and your mind is now going, of course, rambling, angry at him, etc. Then you go, I forgive myself that I've allowed myself to, to direct my anger and frustration at my boss. I realize that if I react to his comments, then I am indeed not appropriate in my approach in the document, that I'm indeed not specific, that he was actually correct in what he was saying, and that I am able to be more effective. So what do you do? What is the corrective action to take there. Look at what he expressed. Look at what he said. No matter in what way he said it, remember it's his expression. You sit there, you look, where am I able to become more specific? Where am I able to become more effective? What is he actually showing me? And then you apply that effectiveness. You take the document again and you take it back. If he does it again, remember, if you take it personally again, it's okay, but remember to apply forgiveness and do the corrective action by saying, by not taking it personally. Because he's merely expressing his specificity and even there could be shit going on in his life that he's directing at you because you're just there. That's what people do. They express and direct shit at other people that are actually existent within them. So people don't take shit personally from other people. Okay? That they're merely expressing themselves. Allow them to express that for the moment. But if you see they're continuing and it's not necessary, you direct them, you say to them, why, what is going on in your world that is making you so pissed off, having it to be blasted out and blared out to other people, and you know that you're actually influencing those other people who are not aware of what you're actually doing and what they're actually experiencing. And that is practical application. That is how you're able to assist yourself in not abusing forgiveness. So abuse of forgiveness is if you just do forgiveness, you know, ramble the words, and not actually live the correction you applied in the realization of yourself in a moment. Okay, this is Jack. That's what I have on the abuse of forgiveness. So remember, abuse of forgiveness is self-abuse when you don't live that which you have forgiven and corrected it within yourself. Thank you very much.